Hey guys, I'm excited to be teaching you um, section 5-4, day 2, today. And we're still going to be working with just the sum and difference identities. And today is Monday, April 20th. So make sure you're taking notes and make sure that you've got your sum and difference identities in front of you so that you can use them to follow along. So we're going to start by example. Um, right before school shut down, we learned the sum and difference identities and we learned that we can use them to find um, the trig value of a value that's not on the unit circle. So we're going to be using those identities again, but this time we're going to be working backwards. So our first example is going to be simplify cosine of 5x times cosine of 8x plus sine of 5x times sine of 8x. So the first step is going to be to look at what we're given and decide which of our sum and difference identities can be applied here. So because we've got cosine cosine plus sine sine, uh, we know that we can simplify this to be the difference for cosine. So our next line will therefore be cosine of the first angle, 5x minus the second angle, 8x. So we're just taking the big picture and turning it into something smaller. And now we just use our Algebra 1 skills. So it's 5x minus 8x. negative 3x. And now when you have cosine of a negative angle, remember we can use our even odd identity. So cosine of a negative angle is the same as cosine of positive angle. So this is the same as cosine of 3x. And that's it. We're done. So let's do one more example before you try. I would like us to do tangent of 3x minus tangent of 7x all over 1 plus tangent of 3x times tangent of 7x. So again, first step, look at the identities and determine which one we can use. So because we've got tangent, sorry, tangent minus tangent over one plus, that's gonna be the difference for tangent. So we can rewrite this as tangent of three X minus seven X. Three X minus seven X is negative four X. And then we're gonna, again, use our even odd identity and tangent of a negative angle is the same as negative tangent of the positive. And then this cannot be simplified any more, so we are done. So I would like for us to now do a U try. For the first U try, um, we're going to do tangent of 78 degrees minus tangent of 18 degrees over 1 plus tangent of 78 times tangent of 18. Now this is really similar to the last problem, but it's also a little different uh, because we're using degrees, so you're actually going to be able to do some com uh, combining in a little bit. So I would like you at this point to pause the video 
and try to complete this problem on your own. And once you finish, hit play. So for the first step, hopefully you um, looked at your trig identities and realized that we can rewrite this as tangent of 78 degrees minus 18 degrees. Then this is where the problem is a little bit different. We can actually subtract these. So what's 78 minus 18? Oops. Hopefully you got 60. And then because 60 degrees is on the unit circle, we can go further with this. What is um, tangent of 60 degrees? First quadrant, hopefully you remember. Square root of 3. We are done. So for your second you try, I would like you to do cosine of 7 theta times sine of 2 theta minus sine of 7 theta times cosine of 2 theta. And you're going to run into a small issue right away, but I think that you can figure it out. So try to do this problem on your own, pause the video, and then when you're done or if you need a hint, hit play and I'll start to go over it. So the issue you're running into is we have cosine sine minus sine cosine. And if you're looking at your identities, that doesn't match up with any of them. However, you did learn, I have no idea when, like elementary school or middle school sometime, um, that we have a commutative property of multiplication, aka right, 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. So the order doesn't matter. So then we can be a little bit clever and rewrite this as sine of 2 theta times cosine of 7 theta minus cosine of 2 theta sine of 7 theta. Now, by using the commutative property and switching these, I've made it now look like one of the identities, and so now it's pretty straightforward. Um, when you have sine, cosine, then cosine, sine, that is the difference for sine or sign difference identity is probably a better way to say that. I'm a little rusty. Haven't taught in a month. Okay, so forgot my subtraction. Sine of 2 theta minus 7 theta will be our next line. And then this is kind of similar to that first example we did together. So 2 minus 7 is negative 5 theta. And then the even odd identity what sine of negative 5 theta, that's the same as negative sine of positive 5 theta. And we are done. So that's all I have for you guys today. Your homework is on the website. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or come to tomorrow's flex time. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.